So about a week ago, I actually made a sound test comparison between Sony's uh, Link Bud against the Sony XM4 earbuds. And that was under the condition of observing the point of view whether Link Bud can actually replace Sony XM4 earbuds. And boy, oh boy, was I wrong. I actually misunderstood the intention of the Link Bud. So I just want to apologize and actually want to expand where I'm coming from by displaying these four different listening devices here. So on the far left hand side with me, I got the Cocoon Night Buds, which is the only uh, non Sony brand product listening device here. And next to it is the, then again, the Sony Link Buds. And next to it is Sony XM4 earbuds. And lastly, we got the Sony XM4 headphones. Now, the reason I'm actually highlighting four different devices here is that each of them actually has different purpose of your daily life. The Link Bud by Cocoon, which is a British firm, by the way, has a purpose of when you actually go to sleep, you wanna to listen to YouTube or any random uh, music or videos this is something you actually um, put it on. It's designed to be very comfortable while you go to sleep. That's why it has this flat back and a bit of a dangling wire on both ends. And the sound quality is really good. So please do check it out on the video that I actually made a review on this. Now, I'm gonna skip the link button. Now let's get into the Sony XM4 earbuds. This is something I tend to listen most of the time when I commute to work. Uh, it has this noise cancelling so I could actually shut myself. I don't need to listen to all the train sounds or the people next to me talking and so on. I could isolate myself listening to a very good quality music. So this is perfect, uh, especially I just don't like my hair to be damaged and that's the problem with listening to headphones. If you actually wear headphones on the um, band on the top will actually squash your hairstyle, you have, you'll damage it so you have to make it all good. That's why I would like to stick with the earbuds. So um, next to it is the Sony XM4 headphones. This is something that if you wanna fully focus on the music side. Those audiophiles people who want to fully enjoy the music, that's when it comes along, or video editing, which I use most of the cases because I always, always have to be very careful with the background music. A lot of the uh, videos that I actually upload, if you listen carefully, there's a bit of a background music. I have to make sure I adjust the level in a sort of like a good level so that it kind of settles well with the rest of the context and so on. Now. Long comes the Sony XM4 Link Bud. What do you use it for? Well, I would say you use it while you're at home, alone, or with your family, or you're in the working environment, like let's say in the office. But let's say if you're in the working um, office environment, because it actually sticks out, it actually shows on the appearance that you're actually wearing something, you have to explain to your colleagues that you can still listen to them, but this actually device is designed for also listening to music and so on. So they, you need to actually um, make an agreement with them that you're not really ignoring them. That's the problem with the earbuds. You're actually showing yourself in a body language and an appearance wise that you're actually shutting yourself off from the rest of the people around you and then you're focusing on yourself. But earbuds, a link bud needs to be clarified to your colleagues that you can actually listen to them and that's, and that's exactly what it's designed to do. If you're in a quiet environment, you wanna to listen to some sort of like a function where a uh, voice in your head, that's where LinkBug comes along. Um, but if you're in a commute state, let's say you're in a train and you can actually hear the train sound and um, people next to you talking, this is something different. I would definitely not recommend at all. I really got stressed literally stress out of listening to uh, through the link buds while actually I was commuting to work or whether I was in a public transport and so on. So that's why I actually clinged on to XM4 in the end and shut myself off and really enjoying to what I was listening to with the noise cancelling function here. So that's where I think link bud is very useful again when you are in a rather quiet environment it just this, the background sound uh, or the music it really kind of like reminds you that you're in a really high tech uh, listening device cheering you up a bit it keeps you going on 
uh, like a bit of an extra energy so um, that's what I wanted to highlight and when you're actually considering for the usage of that as a link bud this is a brilliant device you obviously you're not gonna get as good a sound uh, as the Sony XM4 earbuds or the um, headphones but it will be good enough for you to distinguish what sort of uh, what people are talking in the video or what sort of music is going on um, so, and then you will also be aware of whether your kid is actually messing about or someone actually buzzed the door or knocking on doors so you can actually answer at the same time as well. Um, the, the other thing about Sony Link Buds is that it also is the noise that actually leaks is very minimal so you can actually have a bit of your own private sort of um, confidentiality of what you're watching or listening to while you're actually with your family members or your colleagues um, and the other one I really enjoy about is the amplifying sound function that is available on the app that you could tune on uh, so that when you're actually in the middle of a conversation or let's say um, you, you you got some other noise in your around you the volume will automatically go up or the opposite you could actually let the music or the video clip stop when you actually start talking as well but a lot of people seem to complain about the price of here but it's about 140 quid um, and it's a tiny device but for 140 quid of the function that it has the things that you could actually uh, do change with and interact with i think it's a very good price the only downside i have to say is that if you're in a fully used it but the battery will drain out within three hours and then you got to plug it in and then you got to wait until it's charged so you can either not listen to any of the listening device just turn on the computer speaker and carry out your work or you can listen to the XM4 earbuds or the headphones while it's being charged but that interval of charging is a bit of a disappointment so I wish there was a bit more battery life but I do get it it's just overall if you're really into enjoying um, listening devices audio devices in your life um, that is actually part of, that sort of becomes part of your body when you actually plug it in these are the things for range that i would definitely recommend again if you're trying to go to sleep these uh, night bud by cocoon will be a perfect design and sound quality for you if you're in the middle of work and yet you still want to be slightly confidential of your own space while aware of the sound and the background sony link bud is perfect for you if you want to commute or you want more stronger sort of sound of more more confidentiality shutting yourself outside of the world the sony xm4 earbud comes along and if you want to fully focus on it and more sort of like professional sort of that's it just you and me the music or the video the Sony X4 headphone comes along. So I hope this video sort of gave you a bit of my understanding and also announcement that I want to say that I was wrong on my previous video of, of the way how was I was approaching it because I thought both of them, uh, the Link Buds and the XM4 earbuds were actually a competitor trying to compete against each function. But in fact, these, these actual audio devices has different function at different occasion is something I should have noticed early on but anyhow i hope that you find this video useful and also my point here but if you have any queries please do comment below and thank you very much for watching this video this is lgp tech all the best bye bye